Okay, I wanted to do a follow-up on that last video I made about JSNP4 and uh, Silver Gold Man and this Trader Boss guy, uh, Jason Deal. Okay, all right, I was a little bit wrong in that last video, and I thought the trolls were letting him control the channel. It looks like JSNP, this JSNP guy, which I've been following for years, and you know, I listen to him kind of off in the distance. Here, I'll listen off. Uh, I got a little annoyed every time JSNP would start reading from an article, I would, I would turn it off because... I mean, who wants to listen to somebody read from an article? And I know what he's doing, because I have YouTube channels, too. I have more than just this one. But, um, and so I know when he's doing clickbait, I know. So, you know, he said a lot of things, this Jay Snip, over the last few months, especially, that were like, hmm, really? I know his mom is like some kind of palm reader psychic. Okay, total bull. <laughs> that stuff is such BS. And for him to kind of promote it on the channel as if we're, we're that dumb, really? Okay, the idea of buying a class for $399, I knew that was, I mean, who was going to do that? Unless, unless I had just tons of money, I might go check it out. You know, if I was like, if I had like four or five, eight hundred thousand dollars in Bitcoin, I might go do it just to learn a little more if I could really, really afford it. Okay, um, I've done very well on Bitcoin, just so you know, but I, I got kind of lucky because I was in it five years, four, four years ago, I was started mining. I have a little bit of money, but I don't have tons, you know, I can't retire or anything like that. Anyway, that's where I'm at. So I've been following Jay Snip. Wow, there's a hawk. That's cool. He's hovering right over there. I'm in Oklahoma right now. I'll go over there and bother him. See him up there? He can hear me. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm going towards the hawk and I'm going to keep talking. Okay, Jay Snip for. Um, he started doing this thing where he said uh, his mom had his picks for the new year. Like, really? Okay, if your mother is such a psychic, there, there he goes. If your mother's such a psychic, she would have been picking stocks years ago, right? You think I'm that stupid? Then he, he pulled out this envelope and said, I have it right here, I found it. I don't know if I should open all that crap. And like, clickbait, come on. Really, are you, are you? His channel was supposed to be an alternative to stuff like this. And here we are listening to the exact stuff that we try to find an alternative to. Which is why I used to like him, because I kind of like the alternative viewpoint, you know. But for him to start doing the infomercial, and then there was that infomercial that Trader Boss did a while back where he had testimonials. It was so bad. Well, I've done research since then. Watched Silver Goldman's videos, and it looks like Jason Deal left his name up in the corner. That's really funny. And the fact that he was anonymous the whole time, obviously fishy. But I still like listening to information, you know, even if it's wrong, you can't take anything too seriously. But I like listening to it, right? I, I want information. I want people's opinions. It kind of gives you a feel to where the market's going. If you listen to lots of opinions, don't take any of them too seriously, right? Because nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Don't even pretend like they do. Just kind of spread your bets out, you know. Pick the top 10, top 20 coins and kind of find the ones that you really like and just buy those. That's all you have to do. Um, but I think this J Snip thing is so bad because his channel is pretty big. He's more well known than I even realized. This has got a big channel, and and now it's kind of become known that he's he's hooked up with this known cheater guy, and and, and you can kind of just tell from the whole infomercial of the site. Buy this course now, and the way that you can tell that he's clickbaiting. J Snip's been click, clickbaiting for a while. He's lost so much respect for him, and then the second he dis disabled the comments. Now you can't even, like, interact. That's not good, dude. That's him panicking or worried. I don't know, dude. you got to be careful. People can sue you for stuff like this. He could literally be in legal trouble. He might be watching this right now. Dude, you got to be careful. You piss off a lot of people. They'll class action suit you. And if, if they can find something, anything at all, that they were deceived, no matter how many disclaimers you put, you could still get in trouble. Um, I'd be concerned about his job, too, because he's, uh, he, you know, he's printing off papers, you know, he's using his work papers, he's going out to the car, printing, making videos in the middle of the day. I wouldn't risk my job like that. I'm on New Year's Eve vacation right now, I can make videos. I'm also not asking for any money, I'm not asking for any money. All you have to do, though, pick the top 20 coins, find the ones you believe in, kind of know something about it, and you'll do fine. Um, you got to know something about your coin, like Ethereum. I know I understand the contracts in it and I really like the idea so I like Ethereum <clears throat> I still like Bitcoin even though it's really slow it kind of bugs me I like Litecoin uh, it doesn't seem very popular right now 
Ripple is starting to bug me because I'm starting to learn that the banks are controlling it. I don't fully understand that, so a little worried about Ripple. Um, Monero is one of my all-time favorites because I did this thing where I, I bought a little tiny bit of Monero, and then I went to look in the blockchain to see how much I had, and it said, hey, what are you trying to do? Look at this dude's account. Sorry, no can do. I'm like, that's cool. You can have money and no one will know how much it is. And why should they know? How, I mean, no one knows how much money I have in my wallet. Why should anybody know how much is in your bank account? So I do like that idea. I think Monero is a hidden gem. Unfortunately, it's $300, $350 is too high um, to get into now. I'd want to own a few of them, but I love the idea. It's just too expensive. That's the problem with that. All right, I just wanted to update. I don't like, I'm, I really, this whole JSNIP thing is so fishy. So fishy. I like the information, but now it feels like he's just saying, you know what, screw my channel. I've been making some money. I'm just going to go ahead and, I'm just going to go ahead and try to make money for my channel. Okay, that's it. I'm done.